you guys welcome back to caroline's closet doing another unboxing this is actually a thread up box but i did not get the luxury of having a beautiful polka dot box this is a scarf lot 24 scarves for 16 dollars plus 5.99 shipping so basically 22 bucks for 24 scarves slightly under a um, dollar each and uh, it's a big box for 24 scarves, so I'm kind of expecting some like really poofy big wintry scarves or something. I have ordered one scarf lot before, and it was not 24. I don't remember if it was 10 or 12, but I remember that my total cost was over a dollar a piece. And when I ordered it, this was probably over a year ago, I was thinking that, uh, I was thinking like silk satiny fashion scarves. I had just picked some up at some local garage sales that had sold really well. And I was like, oh, these will do good. And I didn't get any of that. And I got, I think like one branded scarf in the whole lot. And I was not very happy, but they did sell. I did make some money off of them. And the scarf lots are about the only thing that are consistently available lately. They seem to have a ton of scarves to get rid of. So I'm hoping that maybe they throw some good ones in to make sure that they want me coming back for more. I did just check right before filming this video. It is Tuesday afternoon. Scarf lots are still available. They're still listed as 24 scarves for $16 plus shipping. My last fun box had three scarves in it and those were actually kind of nice, good scarves. So we will see. This one came from Vernon Hills, Illinois, not very far from me, so I received the box relatively quickly. This scarf, I can already tell, has some pet hair on it. That's okay. Just gonna tear into the box and see what I got. This is a nice, lightweight, semi-sheer scarf, and I'm not seeing any tag or branding on it. Still sellable, still nice, nothing too special. This one is just Charlotte Russe, which is a relatively cheap mall brand, Infinity Fashion Scarf. Something like this I'll probably throw in my next swap.com box and let them sell it and I'll get like 50 cents back from that one. Oh, but here we have a pashmina scarf. This is pretty nice. Pashmina wool. They sell pretty well. So I can probably make some money off of this one. I will look up anything that I think might have value at the end of the video and let you know better what I think I can get for it. This one is just another lightweight sheer fashion scarf, little fringe end. It's got some gold metallic threading throughout. Not seeing any tags. Here we have a pretty paisley kind of print, thick scarf, more wintry, not too thick though. And I may miss some tags, sometimes they're hiding pretty well, but not seeing any on that. Probably also go in a swap box. just because I don't care to take the time to list something for five bucks, uh, unless it's just really unique and pretty. This one I like, even if it's not branded. This one I would probably list. It's a very thick, uh, not thick material, but thick in width with the pretty 
silky floral inside. Oh, this one's flawed. It's got some holes, some runs. No brand. Oh, but oh, yes, there is. Ha ha. Collection 18. Okay. I sold a bunch of Collection 18 stuff when my local burdeners went out of business. This tag is stuck in another run and probably making it worse. But it did all right. I bought a bunch of it on clearance. This one is new with tags, but flawed. So there's the Collection 18 tag. I could probably still list it, obviously something like this. If it's got a snag or a flaw in it, you're never going to know, no matter how you wear it, you can cover it up pretty well. So I like it. Here we have Game of Thrones, yay. Hmm. Sure, there's a Game of Thrones fan out there that might want this novelty scarf, Infinity Scarf. I'm guessing these are just all the the lands. My husband was really into Game of Thrones, and I did not watch like the first couple seasons. And then I got into it and started watching it with him in the final season. So I did like it. Maybe one of these days I'll go back and watch the rest. But I know how it ends now. So kind of ruined it for myself, I guess. Here we have a pretty, pretty royal blue and black knit wintry scarf. Not seeing any tags but I love the color my favorite color it'll go in a swap box my hope is kind of that there's three or four that I can sell make some money on there's probably going to be a couple that get trashed um, just depending on condition and the rest I can send to swap or throw it up, I guess. Send them right back in. <laughs> this is has a tag. It just says 50% viscose, 50% acrylic, or 35% acrylic, 15% metallic. But it doesn't have a brand. But I do like it. It's the pretty metallic colors. Probably also go to swap. This is an infinity scarf from Volan, V-O-L-A-N is the tag. And it is just a, this is one that like can be worn as a hat or a scarf or pull it up over your face, kind of multi-purpose, snug around the neck. I'll look that one up. Then we have this pretty paisley floral long scarf and I like it and it seems really well made. It does not seem like junk. But, don't see anything telling me that it's not junk. So, this one I might try to sell. It looks nice enough. Then we have a gray tassel trimmed, oh, it's an infinity scarf with inside out these maybe it goes like that I don't know hmm. 
feel like this one should be branded too. It's got cool little trim around the edges and the tassels hanging down. Seems like it should be something. Here's a tag. Nope, just 35% viscose, 65% polyester, no brand on there. But, cool. I mean, they're already better than the junk ones I got in my first scarf box. And since I can't get a thread up jewelry box, it's better than nothing. This one's Cynthia, Cynthia Rowley. Oh, and I used my thread up credits from having sell, sold stuff on there to buy the rescue boxes. That's what I tend to do is leave the money in there until I see a box I want. But now I'm down to about $2.80 in there. So if a jewelry box comes open this week, I'm going to have to pay my own money for it. This is Cynthia Rowley, 100% acrylic but strong cigarette smell, which means it probably passed along that smell to everything else in this box. Not so bad though. This is Berkshire. I think that's a good one. There's the tag and it is made in Italy, 100% polyester. And this, these are the scarves I like to sell, the silky, satiny fashion scarves. If they offered a box of only these kind of scarves, I would be more inclined to buy them more often. But they don't. Take what you can get. Here we have a sheer pink coral colored and gold long scarf. No branding on this one either. Appears to be in decent condition though. Another sheer square long big scarf. This one is G. 100% polyester just has a G on it and I feel like I should know that G I, I should know it I know I should know it but I have no idea offhand what that is so but this is a really big pretty scarf would probably sell okay then we have This is just black and gray checked. I also have a local, it's kind of like a permanent flea market type booth that I can put some of these at if there's anything that I just want to slap like a dollar price tag on and put there. This might be something that if I don't decide to send it to swap, I can sell locally for a quick buck. Here we have one size nylon acrylic polyester. No brand on here. Can always look up the RN number and see if it gives me a direction for brand, but it's a stretchy infinity scarf. And then we have a very holy, likely handmade, I would guess, extremely likely handmade scarf, fun, somebody's project that they did not want anymore. And a pretty purple and blue and black see-through long scarf with no brands, but very pretty. 
probably send it to swap. This is cool. This one I'll sell just because it's got the fun print all over it. It is an infinity little wrap scarf with owls all over. Even if it's not branded, the print would make it sellable. It does have a little rip on one end that I can see. Don't see any. Up oh, here's a tag down at the bottom. Just says 100% viscose made in China. So, but somebody will want that one. I just have to be able to make back $22. I figured with 24 scarves, there's no way I can't make back $22 plus a little maybe this one looks like it's stained i don't know if that's gonna show up but there's a giant yellowish mark on it looking for a tag anyway just so that i can be disappointed in having like my most expensive nicest item be stained up but i don't see a tag so I don't have to have that disappointment, but this one I'd probably just throw in my Goodwill pile. Then we have this one, 100% acrylic, one size. This label yarn is made out of recycled polyester, blah, blah, blah. No brand, but a nice thick peachy colored pale peachy colored thick winter scarf probably going to swap almost done this one's a hundred percent rayon made in india no brand and it's just a two-tone ombre um, long rectangular scarf might be worthy of listing and finally yes finally this is a hundred percent acrylic made in China no brand infinity scarf with a lot of fringe. And that'll probably also go to swap. So that's everything that came in the box. For the most part, it's pretty good and I think there's definitely a few pieces I can sell to make my money back. I'm going to look up a couple of them real quick and be right back and let you know what I think I might get. Okay, so I've gone through them all again. There's seven that I think I will sell. The lowest price around $8. Um, the Berkshire, the Pashmina, probably about $15 each. And the Game of Thrones, $10-ish. And then there were three that had flaws big enough that I said screw it and put them in my Goodwill pile. The rest I think I will just send to swap or maybe pull a couple of them out and throw a price tag on them for my booth but yeah I think I mean I'll definitely even if I sold all seven of the ones that I'm gonna sell for eight dollars then that's now I have to do math why did I do that to myself <laughs> that's what fifty six dollars um, and some of them will go for a little bit more than that plus shipping minus the fees so I'll make something off of this lot not much but it was fun and i like having stuff to unbox for you guys so there's that i'm going to keep trying for a thread up jewelry box hopefully soon i can get my hands on one but they go so fast and since thread up doesn't take jewelry anymore uh, it's just the stuff that people keep sending them jewelry so they throw it in the boxes um but yeah, they don't even take jewelry anymore, so less and less people are going to be sending in jewelry. 
less and less boxes are going to be available. But that's okay, because I've been having really, really, really good luck on Shop Goodwill lately. I think their prices skyrocketed. People went crazy. Um, maybe it was the stimulus money they had. Maybe it was the $600 unemployment that people had coming in. But boxes on Shop Goodwill for jewelry had been going nuts and it was hard to get a reasonably priced one. Well, the last three weeks since the $600 unemployment ended, I have been able to get my hands on some pretty decent priced boxes from Shop Goodwill. So uh, I'll keep doing that, but I will keep searching till I can find one of the infamous thread up boxes that keep eluding me. So, Thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Uh, subscribe, be sure to come back for more. My next unboxing will be a smaller lots, a uh, lot of goods to resell. Spent $115, it's just five items in the box. I'm going to actually unbox that immediately after this one and the video will come up the next day. And then I have a couple jewelry boxes left to unbox for you guys. So. That is all coming. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.